In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the Kansas Jayhawks offensive system against the 2-3 zone. So if you are running a high school level team that always tends to go up against the 2-3 zone, these are definitely plays that can help your team win more games. These plays can also work against the 3-2 zone as well. Okay, so in this play, we actually have a fantastic option here because here they're running it as a four out as a four out play with one post player however my team will be running this as a five out so keep that in mind you could use this quite well so i'm going to show you both options in a second but basically what we're going to have is a pass over to the wing and a pass back you don't necessarily have to do that that just shifts the zone however here what we're going to have is the two wing players that are going to be setting a screen for the opposite side so that basically opens up a lane for the point guard to go through when that player attacks the benefit of running it the way the Jayhawks are running it is now the center defender is going to get back screened from the post player and this wing player is going to be cutting baseline where now he will be open for a lob it's a fantastic option so basically what we're going to be having is player three come across and player two come across to set a screen so that it opens up a lane between players one and two. They're generally not going to be that far open and in most cases you will be seeing a trap up top. However, if they're not running a trap up top and they have at least a little bit of space between them, you could run this play extremely well. Player one will attack down the middle and we will have player four set that back screen on player five and we'll have player five blue cut base line now the issue here is of course player four if smart it will he will be then of course guarding player five down towards the post and that won't be open however player one could still technically take that shot but in most cases that will happen if you find that happens and you want to really run this play you could instead when player five lifts up set a screen for player four instead and then we can have player five cut baseline again now open for that layup or that dunk whatever you want to do now we are running this on my team this year we call it zone trap and we haven't implemented it in the first half of the season, but the second half of the season, we will be implementing it, and we will be running it just like so, where player two again and three will still be setting that screen, and player one will be attacking the middle. However, when he attacks the middle, we're looking for either that shot or for that to lift player five right up, and when that happens, we want to see player four and five both cutting towards the basket because we're hoping that one of those wing players will not see it, will send up that lob for that alley-oop. This also works extremely well against a 3-2 zone as well, however it would be ran slightly different. Against a 2-3 zone, we would actually decide to run this on the one of the two sides. So for example, if we ran this on the right side, we would have player one again still attack down and in most cases you will find that player four will make the mistake and come up and guard that in which case player five has a wide open lane towards the basket if they don't make that mistake and player five of course then pops up then if player three doesn't fill down to protect that weak side and even if he does player four should be able to still attack baseline to be able to get that layup or dunk here's another fantastic four out zone offense this is against the two three zone once again where we have the pass over towards the wing and the pass back mainly just to, sw to try to swing that zone defense around and then what we will have is the back screen from that post player once again for the corner player cutting baseline the idea to get this ball from here to here is to lift this defender up higher so that we do have that baseline open for that dunk what a fantastic play now we can have that pass over to player three or it can just start on that side one or the other but we're going to have player three pass over to player one and when he makes that pass 
that's most likely going to be lifting up the defense where now player four can set that back screen player five can cut back door and of course this opens up the opportunity for a lob we would also like to have player two cut down towards the corner mainly because if player five was to get that board or at least that pass and can't go up for that dunk that's going to be collapsing especially player three and player four where now we could have player three blue also pop out towards this corner where player five has options to pass to this is another fantastic basketball basketball play by Kansas. And this one, we're, again, we're going to be swinging that ball to the wing and then swinging it back to the point. Again, to try to shift that defense. We're going to have the wing player set a screen on the bottom corner 2-3 zone player. And the post player is going to be setting a back screen on the middle player. Player from that corner is going to be cutting baseline. And that's going to op open up opportunities for lobs. So we're going to have that pass over to player three to shift that defense. And then when we shift that defense over, we're going to be then passing back over to player one because we want to really shift that defense. When that happens, when that pass happens, we need to have player two cut and set a screen on player two. I mean, on player four, sorry. When that happens... We're going to have player five cut back door using that double screen for player one to send up that lob for that alley-oop. I would also suggest player one to move off ball after that pass because if player five gets that ball and of course collapses the defense and he can't get that shot off, he could always kick it out to player one. Always after making a pass, always instill with your players. After you make a pass, move, find an open area because you may just get an open shot. This is another fantastic play. What we're going to have is the swing pass from one side of the point to the other. And we're going to have a wing player on this side using essentially a screen on the opposite side of the court. And that could be open. In some cases it will be, depending on what happens here. Because if this player was a bit farther down, then he would be inclined to be guarding up. That double screen here for this player could be an open three. However, after that happens, we're going to be having that bottom player setting that back screen for the alley-oop for the other post player down there. So we'll have that swing pass. If player two can even slightly attack, that could draw up player three. And when that happens, player three blue can then cut baseline and may be open over here for a three-point shot after that screen that stops player five from even moving. And we could even set a screen for player five and a screen for player three again for that pass two. However, the whole idea here is to also have an opportunity to have a secondary screen here so that player four can be open. We would again pass that ball back around for that pass to player four. And it's just absolutely a fantastic play. I gave you a couple of different options over here too if you wanted to get that three point shot. This is just a great, absolutely amazing three out two in zone motion offense. We have that pass from the wing to the point and then the player from the other wing will set a screen on that defender. When that happens, we're going to have a pop and that post player here is going to be moving to the high post. And then if we rewind just a bit, the player who was on this side, he's going to be cutting across into more of a triangle type offense where we now have that triangle set up, which is a fantastic option against the 2-3 zone. And you can even have that ball swing around for the three. You can have a high to low post pass. You get that ball into the post. You can always kick it out for th potential threes. There are so many options that can happen. You can have that high post player attack the post player. Whatever it may be, but that triangle is an absolutely fantastic option. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book down in the description below. That's going to really help you stop a lot of teams, especially at the middle school and high school level. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.